Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 39 of Direwolf20's Let's Play Create Above and Beyond series, where today it's time for a little bit of applied energistics. That's the plan, at least. That's the plan. Uh, as you can see, I'm smelting up some quartz glass in preparation uh, for some applied energistic stuff. So let's get into today's episode. Uh, last episode... Uh, he says, as he said, we're about to talk about today's episode. We made an infinite amount of crystals. Well, we made a machine that will make an infinite amount of crystals, given time. The longer we wait, the more crystals we will have. Uh, it runs in endlessly, and, uh, you know, we got a couple stacks of each crystal in here. I just used some of the quartz crystals, the nether quartz ones, to make the quartz dust that I'm cooking in the house. Um, so with that said, I'd like to get some things going today. Um... First things first, we need to get an Emmy drive, and that's easy. It's just an Emmy controller and one of those engineering processors, which we already have like 16 of each kind, so we're cool there. Uh, so the Emmy drive is good. The Emmy controller is good for the brains of the operation. I am going to want some smart flux cables and probably some dense cables at some point, um, so we'll look into making some of those. Uh, in order to make that happen, and we're probably going to need a lot because our base is kind of large, right? So a uh, widely distributed area. Um, we're going to need a good amount of, um, Fluix cables along with some wool and some other stuff. So quartz fibers, uh, is made with nether quartz dust. So that shouldn't be a problem. How about we just get a stackish of that? And then we'll get a stackish of the pure Fluix quartz and that should be cool. Yeah, I like that plan. And I should be able to just crushing wheel this thing, right? Uh, or you could put them in the millstone over there. Either way, either way. I don't know if one's faster than the other, but, uh, this seems good enough to me. Yeah, this might be a little bit quicker. We'll find out, right? But now we don't actually have to use actual nether quartz. We just use, like, this stuff to make most of everything we want. Uh, and the same can be said for uh, Fluix and all the other stuff. Like, we don't have to set up the whole Fluix automation. Like, we already have an infinite amount of pure Fluix crystals. And I don't think that you need non-pure Fluix crystals for anything, really. Uh, if we do, we can always just make them manually. I doubt there's many things that we'll need them for. Cool. Not too shabby. Uh, so we're going to get a bunch of cables. Uh, let me get my disk drive. And then we're going to also look into making probably some 4K storages. Because remember, it's been a while since we've done applied energistics. We've been doing a lot of refined storage. But remember, these things can only hold 63 different types of items. So you don't need big storage cells unless you're going to have lots and lots of one item. And if you're going to have lots and lots of one item, you might as well just use a drawer. So, you know. You do you. Boo. Boo. Uh, so for this guy, we're going to also need a healthy amount of glass. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to snag one, two, three. I think I've got some more sand as well around here. I really need to, to set up another, another thingy. Yeah, it should work for sand. And then you're going to come right over here and make me a whole bunch of glass, would you? That would be just super. I made a bunch of stone as well between episodes for a thing that you'll see in probably a minute or two. So while that glass cooks, I'll show you the thing that I did between episodes. Hey, look, we have a basement now. Yay. Yay for basements. Hey, it only took us 39-ish episodes, but we finally got there. We finally made ourselves a basement. How cool is that? Do we have any glass? We have a little bit of glass on us, but you know what? That smelter, as slow as the belts move... The smelter does a good job, and it actually smelts things pretty quickly. So, I might, I might re-engineer some of our uh, older create processes, because uh, frankly, these things are they could they could they could be improved at this point. This stuff was made many many moons ago. It's about time for some improvements, and uh, I sh I'm probably gonna want to start with the smart fluix right out the gate. Uh, so that means I'm probably gonna want to go shear some sheep. Share some sheep. So there's 63 quartz fibers, uh, which are primarily used to make that. Two stacks of this will do. Nice. Advancement made. Cool. Uh, now, in order to make the smart fluids, we're going to need one wool per. So we're going to need a healthy amount of wool. Uh, we've got some, uh, but it's, uh, it's shearing time. I might want to see, is there an automated way to shear? That's actually an exceedingly good question. With create, I mean. Um... I know the deployer, I think, can probably shear. If I put shears in a deployer, I bet that would work. Um, but I don't know if there's a way for it to, like, you know, do this whole area. I bet if I put, like, a piston going across with deployers facing down with shears on them, that could be kind of cool. I'm just saying. 
All right, let me come back in a sec after I get around two stacks of wool, which um, from past experience tells me shouldn't take more than a minute or two. All right, we're back. Uh, so I've got, I think, pretty much everything I need to make uh, this stuff with. So I'm just going to quickly throw together uh, these ME Fluix cables into Smart Fluix cables. That should be cool. Uh, I'm going to snag myself uh, some of these circuits. I know I want to combine one in an upgrade table with an ME controller to make an ME drive, right? So let's start the ball rolling where we're going to have some flux ducts ready to connect. So what I'm thinking we could do is kind of like we've done in the past with Applied Energistics, which is kind of have the ME controller sitting in the roof. Um, and then we can run wiring kind of to wherever we need it to be. Uh, so for example, if I were to connect here and then throw down my ME drive, boom, that should be one channel in use. Sweet. Looking good. I wish, uh, let's see, is there like uh, Wayla settings? Yeah, plugin settings? Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Wayla settings, general overlay formatting. Eh. I guess there's nothing for Applied Energistics specifically for Wayla, but that's okay. But we have to make some disk drives now. So that'll be the, the main task, obviously. And then we also have to make, uh, obviously, a crafting interface uh, to, to interact with that thing. So we need some 4K storage components. Uh, let's get, like, six of them sound good? So, like, 18 1Ks? So uh, in order to get 18 of these, uh, 16 would be a stack, right? So a stack plus eight of calculation mechanisms? Sounds like a plan. A stack plus eight. So that would be cool. Now why you know, oh, there's a bone on there. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> I'm assuming that a zombie died nearby at some point. Perfect. A stack plus eight, you were supposed to be, uh, but you're not. Now you are. <laughs> uh, and then in addition to that, obviously, we're going to need uh, a bunch of pure Surtis crystal. Look at that. So, again, we're going to need a stack plus eight. Cool. And that should be pretty cool. Nice. Uh, and then a healthy bit of redstone, probably. And that should get me 18 of these dudes. Perfect. Uh, and then I can combine them with some quartz glass, which I already cooked up. And that is probably the easiest time I've ever had uh, at getting 4K storage components, right? Uh, so now to turn them into disk drives, we're going to need, if I want six of these, we're going to need 18 lead turned into plates. There we go. Mouse wheel designed to be a little bit wonky there. And anything else, really? Just a little bit more quartz glass and redstone, which I think we're in pretty good place with. Um, if I need more quartz glass, which I might, I, you know what? I probably do. Let's go ahead and just get another. I, was, I only really wanted one stack of you. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grind you up into dust. And again, we can do it here instead of over at our crushing wheel. This will probably just be a little bit slower, I would wager, than the crushing wheel was. Yeah, definitely. But that's okay. <clears throat> I think we've got enough. We can make five. Super close. Super close. We just need a little bit more quartz dust. Which an induction smelter can help me out with. Especially if we, well, I don't think we even need to take Accelerate it, because we've already got one. Boom. Six 4K storage cells. Not bad. Not a bad start at all. Uh, that'll let me hold a decent amount of resources. I can make four more in a bit here, no problem, I don't think. Um, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Now, in terms of getting a crafting terminal, uh, we're going to want uh, an ME terminal here. Uh, so we're going to need one of them with a calculation processor. That's going to need a gold processor. Uh, we're going to need a regular illumination panel. Uh, maybe not. Ah, uh, this is what I want. Yeah, that's cool. So another piece of lead and some quartz glass. Not a big deal. 
But then we have to look at how those uh, formation and annihilation planes are made, right? So for those guys, we're going to need an ME controller and a logic processor makes formation cores, and an ME controller and a calculation processor uh, makes the other kind of cores. So that doesn't look too bad. Now, do I have extra of those? That's chapter three's guy. Uh, I, don't, I forget if I had extra ones of these in, in, the, in the storage area. I guess not. But that's okay. We'll go get... Maybe another stackish. That should be a good number to get. Or not. What am I short on? Silicon. Yeah, that makes sense. How am I doing with my silicon production over here? We should be in pretty good place. Oh yeah, we got 15 stacks. Nice. That is not bad at all. And nothing gumming up at all? Everything seems to be pretty good. You're doing your thing. You're making all this stuff. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. Could there be efficiencies? Absolutely. Absolutely there could be efficiencies. Um, how are you doing? Oh, you need some more too. You know, at some point we'll set this up so that these things route from A to B. But, you know, we'll get there eventually, right? And these guys should be in pretty good shape. And these guys should be in pretty... Oh, no, they're not in good shape at all. So, yeah, all of this is relatively automated, right? It's just, um, you know, a little bit of manual back and forth to fill it. But it's rare that I have to do it, right? It's not like I'm doing this every five minutes. Like, I do it once, and then, like, 20 episodes later, I'm doing it again. So, not a big deal. Okay, cool. All right, so that should be enough for the, the things that I want. And then we'll let more crafting happen. And we may want four more uh, of, the, of the drive doohickey things, but we'll get to that at some point. Uh, so in order to make this guy, uh, we want Fluix casing, which is blackstone and lead plates. So we're going to need another lead plate. Oh, that's not blackstone, that is. I feel like lead plates is a pattern here. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to need Fluix casings times two, which can be upgraded into ME controllers. Uh, and then you need to be upgraded such that one of these for formation and one of these for annihilation. Easy peasy. Not too shabby. All right, that's not bad. Uh, and then a little bit more quartz glass and a little bit more glowstone and redstone would not go awry. So we can make our illuminated panel. Uh, we can take one of those illuminated panels and turn it into an ME terminal, and then we can upgrade the ME terminal into a crafting interface, and that should be pretty cool. Not too shabby. A much bigger table. Should we embed this in the wall? I feel like we could embed it in the wall, and that would be fun. So let's get um, some smart Fluix cable here with this guy, and you can work your way down into the basementy area. Where exactly am I in relation to my chests? There's my chests, so there's my cable. Now remember, we have to be cognizant of channels, right? Channels is definitely a thing to be aware of. Um, and we can always make the dense cables, and we can do like the other stuff for channels at some point. So what I'll probably wind up doing is something like this. That looks good. Okay, cool. And now we've got an ME terminal. Nice! Applied energistics. Here we come. I did make a redstone flux cell, and I should probably do something with it at some point. Um, for, you know, power buffering and whatnot. But, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. What do we got here? Realistically, this is probably the best place to put it. And then we could set you to input in the back, and you should be charging and output on all other sides. Cool. Nice. All right, good deal. Sweet. All right, so now what I want to do, uh, which should be pretty fun, is start putting away all the resources uh, that we may or not need. So, for example, I could uh, put all this stuff away, right? 
And then we could get rid of this. Nice. And we'll have to just... Less than nice. What happened here? Why you know... Are, you, are we not transmitting power pass enough? Like, explain. This I would expect to be working. Look, it's output, it's auto output enabled. Why are you not getting power all of a sudden? That doesn't make any sense, right? You think pipes doesn't work with redstone flux cells? That can't be. Can it? No. Couldn't be, right? No, it couldn't be. And we couldn't possibly be at greater than a thousand RF a tick right now usage, right? No, there's no way. Because if we were, then the then the then the redstone flux cell wouldn't be filling up. Uh, are you draining at all? You or not? Okay. Okay. What if I gave you some work to do? So you're dumping power above, no problem. What if I gave you some work to do? Aha! Uh -huh. So it looks like Invar Flux Ducts don't seem to want to interact with this thing, right? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I mean, I might be. It's definitely possible. I'm going to have to borrow this to get our thing up and running again. Hooray! Am I am I nuts? Or does it look like Invar Flux Ducks do not like energy cells? That's how it appears to me. It looks like they're not friends, which is a little bit of a bummer. A little bit. Oh well. Uh, so now, let's see how much junk we can store, uh, courtesy of Applied Energistics, right? So if I just start breaking barrels, right, yoinks, that should be cool. Uh, what I'll probably do for a minute here, if I put this in here, I'm going to put my potatoes away, and I'm going to put you and you in here, and I'm going to put you in here. Now I've got a very open inventory, ready to accept all the things. Right? Yoink. Oh, Applied Energistics. You're the best. There's all my create junk. Nice. Now let's go check in on our ME storage drive and just make sure that you're not losing your mind too much. So yeah, top two drives are full of types uh and the next drive is getting there halfway full so we will probably want four more drives i would away i would wager we were gonna we're gonna want four more drives so let's let's fill that thing up with 4k drives and again 4k is kind of in my opinion always been the best one to go with just because of the number of types that can be stored um so in order for that to happen uh we're gonna need four times so we're gonna need four times three is 12 Times four is 48. So we'll just take a full stack and that'll be fine, but we'll only make four, right? And then the same for you and that should be cool. And then if we threw some redstone into here, we should be able to craft with this now. Whoops, I didn't want to put my time in a bottle there. All right, so if I want another set of these, we're gonna want 12 so that we can make four more and then we just need some quartz glass which i think we've got more of oh no wait it should be in here very nice And then we need some lead. Oh, it's not in there yet. That's okay. Uh, let's just get like 16-ish of it. Because clearly we need lots and lots of lead. Excuse me, sir. You're in my way. There 
And you're all done, right? Yeah. You could use more algae bricks, apparently. Not a big deal. Nice. Okay. So that'll be... Oh, I did not want that. But that's okay. We'll just put that away. And then U4, nice and full. Plenty of storage drives now to mine up the rest of this junk. So what we'll do is just yoink. And now we've got all the junk in the world in Applied Energistics land. Hooray! You know Dyer gets excited about Applied Energistics land, right? Now, if we do wind up that we have lots and lots of one resource, right, like Appetite, and we can always sort by number of items here, but downward. Um, sweet. And let's get some stone. Perfect. And then we'll just pop into the basement in a minute just to make sure nothing did fall down into the into the basement. Nice. Get back my time in a bottle. Lest it not generate more time. Any resources fall down here? Yeah, we're in good shape. Nice. All right, cool. Hey, so Applied Energistics, go. I'm pretty excited about that. How great is this, huh? Now, we might want to make uh, a drawer controller. Right? A uh, drawer controller. We could probably make one of those. It's just going to be a zinc and a diamond. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Zinc, machine casing, and a diamond. Okay, and then maybe an external storage bus. It's just called storage bus. What are they called these days? I mean, export bus, import bus, storage bus. There you are. Uh, so you're going to need to be an ME interface, which doesn't look too bad to make, considering we already have one. Nice. And then you can turn into uh, piston land. We have a sticky. There you are. Nice. Not bad. Limitless potential. Upgrade you into a drawer controller. And then we will take our drawers. Excellent. And you might wind up going, uh, let's put you over here. What we'll do is we'll stick the drawer controller on the ground. Okay. You guys, two of you have void upgrades, two of you don't. I should probably give the other two void upgrades. Okay. Um, boom, boom. And then it should be relatively easy. Hello, mining cave. Nice to see you here. To stick this guy on the bottom there. And then I need some cables. And you know what I think my first priority will be? Wireless access. Right? Now, uh, it's it's reasonable to say that we don't need the, the, the good cables to go there. Right? As long as we can see... that we're using two channels up here, I call that good enough, right? Now, how are we for storage overall here? Not bad. We're, you know, actually pretty, you know, we're 70% we're, we're full already. So that's a thing. 70% full already, but that's okay. Like I said, if we if we really run into a problem with fullness, we could, we could start putting more things in drawers. But nothing in here is a red dot, right? Which tells me that nothing is about bytes used. It's all about different types, 
which means that we're doing pretty good. If we ever run into a red dot, then we know that we've, you know, got too much appetite or something. Uh, and then we could we could drop that into a drawer, call it a day. Uh, now, aren't there covers from Applied Energistics? There's microblock covers. Um, doesn't Applied Energistics have some kind of covering system? Like a facade -y type dude with a thing. Can't I like do something with this? Isn't it anchors? Is anchors a thing? Can't we do something like this? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Boom and boom. Hey, that's neat. Hey, 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 that's, that's, that's a thing. I like that. All right. Look how much nicer this is getting to be. Look at how nice this house is. We may not need these torches anymore, by the way, because I did do a whole feral flare lantern under, under the ground here, and I think it'll reach up through the ground. So, whoo, look at my little, look at my little hut that I've lived in a hole in the ground for 40 episodes in. Yeah, good times. All right, so what do you say we look into making a wireless access point? Now, for some reason, I feel like I needed a security terminal. Don't I need one of those? Now, does all this stuff, it always needs lead. Let me just get like half a stack of lead plates. I feel like that might be a smart move on my part. Okay. So while that's cooking, let's get a security terminal because I feel like I need one of those, right? Looks like we're going to need a few more of these. So three times three is nine. Oh, so close. Oh, so close. We had enough for eight, because of course we did. That's all right. Uh, at some point, I should run, like, wiring all around this area, I think, is probably what I'd like to do. Uh, and then I could access this stuff via external storage bus or something along those lines, right? Uh, so we'll see what happens. But for now, um, so I want another one of these to turn into 4K. to turn into 16K. And then that's gonna let me make my security terminal, almost. First, I need my lead. And I'll craft this stuff off camera, um, you know, once I'm good here, cool. That is an Emmy controller and a chest. Oh, that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, so I'll be right back. All right, so security terminal up and running. Uh, let's get our wireless access point, so that doesn't look too bad. We're just going to need a Fluix Pearl here. Well, it's doable. Just going to need some crushed Fluix dust. Now, do we have any non-fancy Fluixy things? Let's go get some of the let's get some of the the pure Fluix, right? Um, just because we have an infinite amount of that, the other stuff we'd have to recreate by hand if we wanted to. Let's crusher this up real fast. I'm just going to get a stack of. Uh, a stack of it crushed and a stack of it not crushed. Good deal. I'm assuming that this is a thing, right? Am I just voiding this at this point? What's going on here? I might be. <laughs> I might be. Okay, yeah, no, I'm 100% just voiding it at this point. So that's on me. That's on me. So I guess Fluix Dust is going to need to be actually just Fluix Crystal only. Good, good. Way to be consistent there. Way to be consistent there. Well, at least this stuff doesn't take too long to make. Um, refresh my memory real quick. Can I make this with... Charge Surtis Quartz, one Nether Quartz, one Redstone Dust. Eh, to receive two Fluix Crystals. Eh. Not loving that. Oops, wrong thing. I hear you, baby zombie. I hate baby zombies. They're so hard to hit. Hey. And they're so fast. So, crushed Fluix, we may need to get a charger set up at some point in the base. We'll see about that. Shouldn't be hard to make, though, uh, I think. Right? Isn't a charger just... Uh... 
Can we, we can use a pure flux to get a charger, right? Did I see that correctly? Yes, a pure flux can be used for a charger. So if we got an andesite machine casing, put all that stuff away. We could upgrade this dude. Oh, wrong andesite machine casing. Sweet. Um, and we could stick this in a corner or something like that. Uh, he needs power, but I don't think he needs data. Maybe I'll do it this way. I gotta get down there. Works for me. And we can stick our, uh, let's see, do I have any smooth stone? I'm pretty sure I do. Or regular stone because Minecraft changed the name of it. I wonder, do I have a, can I just put this on there? Yeah, buddy, right? And that should work. Now, if we need to make any uh, charged fluix or, or uh, certus, we could easily, you know, pull that off, right? Should just be a matter of doing that, and boom. Nice. I like it. That'll do. I never did like how random the, the, the charging mechanic was. It feels like, you know, sometimes it's instant, and other times it takes forever. But anyway, uh, we are now good to make our wireless terminal. Right? And if I have to make more of that stuff, we can. Okay. Uh, ME terminal should be doable easily enough. And then I need the dense energy cell, which is going to be eight energy cells, which looks like we're going to need a bunch of fluid dust. Basically 32 of them. So let me do some work. I had to pop into the nether to get more quartz. Believe it or not, I was running low. All right, cool. So now that should be half a stack each uh, of charged certus, redstone, and quartz. Boom, boom, boom. All right, you're clearly going to need to be turned off, sir. Nice. All right, now with you guys good to go, I'm thinking a majority of you should probably just be ground up, but meh. We'll do half, and we'll see how that works out for us. Pretty sure that works, right? Tick accelerating the millstone. Seems to be good. Y'all gave me a lot of beef for installing time in a bottle. But that's okay. All right, so now we want perfect, perfect, perfect. Hooray! Wireless terminal. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, and then uh, we've got our access point, right? We made the wireless access point. Ah, what are you doing here? Didn't I make the wireless access point, or am I completely insane? No, because I needed the wireless. Okay, yeah, so we'll need another one of these. So we're going to need more um, more Fluix Dust. I'll tell you, though, I'm so used to refined storage, I'm, we're going to have to see. See, now the Fluix Crystals are net gaining inside there. So 100% tick accelerating works. I'm just saying. Okay. And then you're good to go for this. And then you're good to go for that. What, really? We're out of calculation processors? Ha ha, today we learned. All right, cool. Hey, well, that's exciting. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. 16 of them sound good to everybody? I think so. Mm -hmm. 
Looks good to me, right? I do love the whole setup in this in this in this mod pack. The way the way everything is made. Like if you think about it, the crafting is is really not a lot. Like you're 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 encouraged to automate a lot of things, but there's not a whole lot by way of crafting needs, right? Um, I like it. I'm just saying, like the pack was a good pack. It's a good pack. How cool is this? Now, why are there only 13 here? Oh, we're probably out of silicon. Yeah, that would do it. We should have plenty over here, though, right? Perfect. Now nah, we're cooking. Okay, so one of you, wireless access point. All right, uh, you're gonna need to be charged up. Shouldn't be too bad. Wow, you're gonna take a lot of energy to charge, aren't you? That's a lot of energy. It really is. I think my whole base is running off one magmatic dynamo right now, which is probably, in fairness, not what I would call ideal. Uh, but we will probably do betterish um, with power gen at some point soon. We, we're gonna probably need to do a few things uh, if you really think about it. But let's just stick you right here on the ground. That looks perfect. Nice. Okay, and then you're also going to need a uh, security terminal. Um, so how about security terminal can attach maybe up here? Does that sound cool? Now if we insert this guy up here, he gets connected. And then boom, how great is that? Now that's the wireless terminal. Is there a crafting? Is there a wireless crafting terminal? Because if there's not, that's like super bummer. Yeah, it really looks like wireless terminals like it. Uh, now your range is about 16 meters, uh, but we can put the wireless boosters in. Doesn't look that terrible, but we will need some more Fluix dust and some Ender dust, which I know we have a lot of, so that's good. Um, and I forget how high they stack. And they will definitely be drawing a lot of RF, by the way. Lots of power use um, for the wireless boosters. So let's start with eight. Now, do you show me on a UI without any kind of wrench how much power you're using? Probably not. 18.37 uh, RF a tick. So that means 34 RF a tick in that mechanic. How much is this guy making again? 120. So, I mean, we're gonna be burning through lava pretty quickly, but I think it's good. Now, is there a controls key? No wireless. Applied focus. Okay. Is there no hotkey for opening up the applied energistics wireless crafting window? I'm guessing not. But I think there's a separate mod for wireless crafting terminal. I might look into installing that in the pack, even though it's not in the pack. But we'll see. But I think it's wrapping up point. So for now, Dell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We've got applied energistics up and running, so that's huge. All right, all. Take it easy.